I'm going to talk about using the portfolio and order list windows in ProRealTime. You will see that some important portfolio information is shown at the top of each chart, including the total portfolio value, latent gain on this instrument from currently open positions, gain today on this instrument including gains from open positions and closed positions, pending orders which you can close by clicking on the cross here, and the quantity of your open position which you can also close by clicking on the cross here. The portfolio window also shows your total portfolio value, the gain today, the latent gain broken down by different instrument types. You can see your positions in the bottom part with their quantity as well as their latent gain and gain today. You can also close positions quickly from this window by clicking on the red cross next to any position. In the order list, there's also a button available to quickly close all pending orders by clicking on the red cross here. The default tab is the executed orders list. You can see your list of executed orders here sorted by time and date. You can also see for each order the quantity, price, gain of the executed order, and the position change. For example, in this order, we went from a quantity of minus 1 to 0 and generated a gain of 487 euros. You can control the amount of data loaded in the order list using this drop-down menu. Right now we're looking at data for one week, but you could also look at your orders just for today, the past two days, one month, or one year up to a maximum of 500. You can also use the filter here to search for orders on only one instrument, for example, such as the euro dollar, as I've done here. Click on the cross to remove the filtering criteria. If we now place new pending orders, such as a limit order here and a stop order here, we can go to the pending orders list and see that the pending orders are listed along with their limit price and stop price. All of the canceled orders are listed here in the Cancel tab. And if you place multiple leg orders like this, you can see them in the Multiple Leg tab with their different dependencies. The Portfolio and Order List windows are highly customizable. For example, you can sort by any column. If you go to the Executed Order List and sort by Gain, this may be useful to identify the positions that did the best and the worst. You can also customize the columns displayed by clicking on the wrench here. Check or uncheck any box to display or hide the corresponding column. You can also use the order list to check the status history of any given order. To do that, click on this icon for the order that interests you the order status history window will pop up and you can see at what time the order was transmitted, pending, and executed, for example. The portfolio columns can also be sorted by any criteria and customized by clicking on the wrench icons. Click this wrench icon to customize the top part of the portfolio and click this wrench icon to customize the bottom part of the portfolio. You can also hide the top part of the portfolio completely by clicking on the small arrow here to bring up the bottom part, or bring it back by clicking on this icon. To learn more, click on one of the links that appears on the screen.